What's going on, real estate Trey? And Miss Tasha. Married to the real, where we always keep it real. Wednesday, season one, episode four. Whoa, what a night. <laughs> We're going to get into it and see what's popping off on Wednesday, y'all. Shit. Hopefully, y'all enjoying it. Full reactions on Patreon. Dr. Kinbot tells me I should get out more. <laughs> oh. Says I need to open my mind to new people and experiences. Who am I to argue with her professional cliches? Lacerations and defense wounds appear on both hands. What remains of the chest and torso indicates a frenzied attack. The subject has been almost entirely disemboweled. This is curious. The subject's left foot is missing. It appears to have been chewed off at the ankle. Whatever or whoever's responsible for these killings, in all my years, I've never seen injuries like them. I thought you should see this before I issued my report on the latest victim. It's a real noodle scratcher. The killer cut off two toes from the victim's left foot. Best guess, they use a surgical saw. At least I'm going out in style. Friday's my last day. Happy retirement, Jack. I'm gonna surprise Mrs. Anwar with a four-week cruise. <laughs> Excited to trade rib shears for my ties. <laughs> I don't remember this one coming in. Full rigor. You've been dead a while. I guess you won't mind waiting another day for me to cut you open. <laughs> more minutes. I was just getting comfortable. <laughs> Turns out, all of the monster's victims have had body parts surgically removed. Mm. The first one a kidney, the second one a finger, one say, I don't really feel like the third one a gallbladder, and the bearded man from the meeting house. Two toes. Do you ah. understand what this means? These murders aren't mindless. He's collecting Is trophies. Somebody building something? It's quite impressive, actually. You making something? Mm. Like Frankenstein, you know? The orchid produces a pheromone that mimics a female insect, luring the males in. Now, once the plant is pollinated, what do the male insects get in exchange? Nada. Just like all the guys at the Raven. <laughs> okay, okay. I know you're all excited about Saturday, which is why I haven't assigned any homework. Oh, shit. I suppose every artist needs a muse. Xavier, you just became that much more interesting. Why are you really out here? Is this about a certain dance that makes you want to poke needles into your eyes, perhaps? I'm all ears. <laughs> Sometimes intentions melt in the face of unexpected opportunity. But this was my chance to get up close and personal with a potential serial killer. Hmm. How could I refuse? Are you really going to make me ask? Oh, absolutely. Would you? Would you possibly consider going to the Raven Dance with a certain... Wait, would you go to the dance with me? Yes, Wednesday, I would love to go to the dance with you. Mm. I would never ask. What kind of dystopian hellscape is this? <laughs> oh, shit. Wow. Turn around and run. Hell no. If they ain't got nothing in black or gray. That's not going to fly with us. Well, I have more pressing business than to worry about a stupid dress for a dance I don't even want to attend. But I thought we were bonding. I feel I'll only slow you down. You're a gazelle. I'm a wounded fawn. Come and lose and go run with the pack. I'm going to seek help and I'm not stopping. Yes. He's giving corpse bread. Hi, Wednesday. 
that dress will certainly turn some heads. Are you collecting more exotic trinkets for your office? Those are souvenirs from my travels. It's how I step outside of my comfort zone. Why would I share information about an ongoing murder investigation with a high school kid? Because I go to Nevermore and you don't. Don't you want some eyes and ears behind those ivy-covered walls? Listen, Delma. <coughs> why don't you and the Scooby gang stick to your homework and leave the investigating to the professionals? What? Hey, Adams. Let me see that sketch again. I'm... Lucas Walker, Mayor's son. Recently split from Jericho High's cheer captain, Chrissy Smothers. Cubernet who really needs to be thicker spray tan. It's kind of scary. I've been for gossip, and I follow half your grade on TikTok. Oh, yeah, and my roommate kicked your butt. Twice. Wednesday Adams is your roommate? Sure is. I know this isn't a random encounter. Oh. So why are you sitting here, Lucas Walker? You guys have the Raven coming out this weekend, right? There's all the buzz with the weather vane today. I must be the only one not obsessed with this stupid dance. So you're not going? Actually, I was forced to ask someone as an act of self-preservation. I mean, call me crazy, Wednesday, but you keep giving me these signals. It's not my fault I can't interpret your emotional Morse code. Then let me spell it out. I thought we liked each other. But then you pull something like this, and I have no idea where I stand. I mean, mm. am I in the more than friend zone, or just a pawn in some game you're playing? Mm. I'm just dealing with a lot right now. I need to prioritize. I assume this is the creature that's been rampaging in the woods? You've heard about it before? Rumors. Mr. Fritz banned me from bug hunting until further notice. Claimed the bear was on the loose, which I knew was a lie didn't match their hibernation schedule. I know the chances for asking me are next to zero, but So nobody checked on the wood and turned into the stone. Nobody myself out there until Enid finally sees me. Nobody reported on it. Even if she never does? She will. I'm playing the long game. My mom say people appreciate me when I'm older. I know they're probably just trying to make me feel better, but... Listen, people like me and you were different. We're original thinkers, intrepid outliers in this vast cesspool of adolescence. We don't need these inane rites of passage to validate who we are. I'm not a huge fan of enclosed spaces. I'm claustrophobic. If you hear me screaming bloody murder, there's a good chance I'm just enjoying myself. <laughs> I fucking can't, bro. <coughs> not too far. What is that? Concrete proof. Against the claws, DNA. What the hell are you doing? How do you know what the monster looks like? Or are these all just self portraits? Oh, what? You think it's me? I saved your life. So did the monster. Or was that you the night Rowan was killed? You are so out of line right now. I'm just trying to uncover the truth. And your art seems to have a recurring motif. This creature's been haunting my dreams for the past couple of weeks. I try to block it out, but I can't, so I just come in here and paint So is he psychic? When I was painting this one, the claws reached out of the canvas and took a swipe at me. And that's how I got these scratches. I thought you were able to control your ability. Not when it comes to this thing. Maybe it's just your guilty conscience. Before, when I caught you outside. That's the only reason you asked me to the Raven, isn't it? To try and cover. You are unbelievable. It's nothing personal. No, it never is with you, is it? I mean, do you even care about anyone or, or anything at all, Wednesday? That's the claw of the monster, and that's a dried blood sample from a potential suspect. He used it to dab scratches on his neck. Run the DNA test and see if they match. I'm sorry, do I work for you? You asked for concrete evidence. That's it. Where'd you get this? And who's the suspect? Run the test first. Then I'll explain everything. You know, I figured since neither you nor I have a date to the dance. We should go together. What? No. I was going to suggest we stop at the cave and identify the monster. Whoever that may be.
So, I hear you might be free tomorrow night after all. Then we break up? You don't know what that means? I could have sworn that was the one who sent himself into stone, so they just ain't even touch on the fact that he stood over up because that's what happened. He just did with somebody else. It's not even MC Blood Sugar, right? Blood Sucker. Oh, okay. I'm no damn MC Blood Sugar. The boy I asked Timmy down for another girl. I wonder who you asked, Gomez? Mm. Morticia from in fact. Wednesday's mother? I'll make sure nobody spikes the punch. Mm -hmm. We can't afford a single misstep tonight. Had to have asked Gomez. Guessing you'd dang drop it in the tip jar. Good guess. Yeah, after our last conversation, I wasn't sure. <laughs> Not him dipped it, please. <sighs> he got a black dress. Yes, go slay. Did you pay for it? Pay for it. Five finger discount. <laughs> of course. Oh my goodness. Wow. You look unrecognizable, ridiculous, a classic example of female objectification for the male gaze. <laughs> Amazing. I mean it, Wednesday. You look beautiful. Eugene? Wednesday. What's going on? Uh, what happened to staking out the cave? Sure. I get it. Guess I'll check out the woods myself. Don't no. go alone. It's too dangerous. Stand down. We go together tomorrow night, understood? Hummer never shies away from danger. See? Come on, Gene. Snowman? My god! You can't say that, it's offensive. The correct name is Yeti. Sorry. When do you go here? Not anymore. They've been extinct since the 1950s. Does your mood have to do with a certain pigtailed goth girl? You'll see when she walk in, bitch. She's not here. <laughs> she coming. Gonna shut them scales down. I'm sorry. I do really like scales. being here with you. That's, so. You know she's a little mermaid ho, like side so or whatever. That's what Wednesday she got Adams. on. Deal? <laughs> I mean, if she she ain't have to be a bitch though, you know what I'm saying? They could have had that in the show without her being a bitch. I'm so sorry about your pants. So they come in to crash the party. Are those the playoffs? Who's winning? The Penguins or the Ducks? You follow pro hockey? Lifelong Sharks fan. I grew up with a pack of older brothers. It was like, watch hockey or He gonna actually combo. start like a and they finna come fuck this shit up. From Way of the Dragon. Only the best kung fu movie ever made. You are different. You up for getting down? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Come on, Eugene. Eugene Ottinger. Well, I guess there's something out here, though. That means they're not at the dance. No movement at Shit. The no sign of the target. That means it wouldn't be either of them two oh. or the teach. I just heard a rare club horned grasshopper. What's going on? Xavier told me what you did last year. Hey, you and your friends assaulted him and destroyed his mural on Outreach Day. Don't you look like I wish I could say that it was an accident. Or that it wasn't half as bad as it sounds, but I'd be lying. And he could have made things a lot worse for me, but he didn't. Why'd you do it? I could give you a million excuses, but the truth <laughs> is I'm still trying to figure that out. I got sent away to this boot camp and realized that's not the version of myself I want to be. I turned into a teenage oh, what? Google mom. <laughs> oh, Google mom. 
face, bro. She getting that shit. Yo. <laughs> you broke up with me because you thought I was manipulating you with my siren song. Now you want me to use it to help you get over another girl? Oh, oh okay. Guys, I was thinking that maybe this isn't such a good idea. I don't want my dad to get any blowback or anything, you know? Dude, you're the whole reason we're even doing this. To get revenge on those freaks for nuking Crackstone's fountain. Yeah, don't tell me you've got soft like Tyler. Come on, let's go. Come on. Oh. Oh my god. Who is that? How would somebody know to do that? They saw you though, for sure. Speaking of suffering, where's your date? I didn't see you and Xavier on the dance floor. We had a little tiff. Mm. About you, actually. You don't know what it's like. Being beautiful and popular. Never knowing people's true feelings. If someone likes me for me. That's why Xavier broke up with me. He never fully trusted me. The worst part is I can never trust his feelings either. I never knew if they were real or not. So it just worked regardless. Like you tell much old Cyrus song, you ain't even doing it. You don't care what people think of you. I don't know what this was. Obviously, somebody they could drive because they pulled up and they basically just destroyed everything. So, uh, they finna hit pull a carry. They finna pull a carry, bro. I thought it was like water. So, are there vampires here? Yeah, but it's no guarantee it's blood. They could it just, it just be red. Bro. I couldn't even spring for real pig's blood. See? <laughs> Who we'll just broke? Oh, shit. Are you okay? Eugene is in the woods. He's in danger. How she get a vision about him from some random bumping into her, though? Mm -hmm. We could probably go back and just... Oh, no. You did this? I can't believe I fell for your crap. You know, look. After Crackstone's statue, I... I thought you were different. <laughs> I thought you liked me. <laughs> wolf, ow, wolf, ow, wolf, ow, wolf, ow, wolf, ow, wolf, ow, Get away from her! Are you okay? I didn't even want to go with him. I wanted to go with you. So then why didn't you ask me? Because you blew me off the other night and you never told me why. I was too embarrassed to tell you, but I accidentally looked in the mirror and kind of stoned myself with my snakes. We should probably take it slow, right? Totally agree. Oh yeah, that's taking it slow. <laughs> but teenagers are probably just those raging hormones, you know. I'm trying to figure out who she bumped into when she see. Did she bump into anybody when she saw the boy with the glasses get fucked up in the woods, or did she just have a a random vision? Maybe she have them randomly. Nothing. This is part of the reason I got lazy. Anyway, my vision gonna fucking become. <laughs> She too late? Eugene. Now nah, Eugene, come on now. They really gonna kill my boy Eugene like that? Oh my God. Is he alive? 
Damn, bro, they took out Eugene, dog. They ain't had to do Eugene like that, bro. It's personal now, whoever you are. It's personal. Eugene ain't bothering nobody, bro. Y'all see that? Took out the homie Eugene. Told his ass not to go out here. Just the bees and collected some honey in this bitch. He was just trying to, you know what I'm saying, help his homie out, you know. But you know, that's the way it go. Yeah. Hopefully, you know what I'm saying, he all right, he bounced back. Hopefully, he a real one, you know what I'm saying. I feel like they're going to let him die too, but no, we'll see. No, Eugene going to fight. Eugene coming back. We'll see next episode. And Eugene going to say, fuck it, I'm getting contacts. <laughs> We're going to get up out of here. Full reactions on Patreon. Thank y'all for the support. It's Trey. And it's Tasha. Real. You already watched, so you might as well subscribe. Please.